Barbara Davis, how did you like that one? Um, <coughs> you know what? I'm just going to sit and play a few seconds of a few songs I wrote. Um, so I've had a lot of writing partners, as you've already seen tonight. My maybe favorite, I shouldn't say this with other people here, but um, Kenny Loggins and I wrote a lot of songs together. But my favorite, I think, uh, just for longevity, was Peter Satira from Chicago. Mm. And he's been a lifelong friend, and we wrote a lot of good songs together, some bad ones, but we wrote a lot of hits together. And um, I'm just going to bang out a couple. I want you guys to sing along, okay? This was our first number one hit that we had together in Chicago. write me one of those Chicago songs. <laughs> and we got excited because Kenny Rogers, as you recall, was a huge big star. Um, so we wrote a song that day. We took it over to his house. We got so excited. We sat down and I played it for him, Peter Singh. And at the end of it, Kenny says, and I quote, boys, I don't think that's a hit. <laughs> I'm not making any money tonight. The least you guys can do is sing hard, okay? <laughs> I mean, way up in the rafters there, okay? Shout out to my daughters. Four of my five daughters are here, and their incredible partners, husbands. Um, and they came last night. We had a big fundraiser. Um, a lot of the David Foster Foundation and people are here tonight. Thank you for last night. It was amazing. Thank you to the board of directors, our board of directors. Thanks to my daughters and husbands for being here. Sarah, Aaron, Jordan, Allison, Tom, Tommy, and Brent, and Simon. Did it. <laughs> Amy and Matt could not make it tonight. Um, but anyway, back to me. I've been nominated for three Oscars. No, I... I lost all three of them. <laughs> I lost for a song I wrote for Andrea and Celine with Carol Van Sager called Prayer. And, and, uh, I lost for the body part. <laughs> But I lost. The one that really hurts me was Peter Satir and I wrote a number one hit all over the world called The Glory of Love mm. or The Karate Kid 2. The movie that beat us, the movie that beat us was Top Gun. Uh, okay. <laughs> I hate that fucking movie. <laughs> It's not even 
funny. <laughs> um, by the way, is it Pat Kenny Loggins here? Thank you. So, does anybody know the song that we us? It was not dangerous. Well, first of all, let's analyze the movie, Top Gun, okay? It's got Iceman, Maverick, sex, drugs, rock and roll, motorcycles, Kelly McGillis, jets, jet fuel, and ports. Iris? Tom Cruise. I hate him, too. Our movie, Karate Kid 2, starred the guy from Happy Days. That's what we got. Great actor, but I mean, not that sexy. <laughs> um, so the song that beat us, the song that beat us, was, was um, Take My Breath. Oh. Take My Breath away. Oh, well, it's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's analyze that song, okay? <laughs> she goes, Take my breath away. <laughs> it's not that good. <laughs> Please. And she goes, uh-huh, uh huh. And then she goes, uh-huh, uh huh. And then she goes, uh-huh, uh huh. I think of our song, The Glory of Love, had it been in Top Gun, and we would have won the Oscar for sure. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Watch this. while I roast him to have my chair. Yes. No idea about this, I swear. Yes, so I called my friends Marcy Heisler and Zena Goldrich to write my own little ditty for tonight's show. Okay, wait. David, you just sit down right there. All, you have no lines. All you have to do is sit. Just sit. Okay, thank you, sirs. Y'all ready? So... Maybe Rolling Stone named you the master of bombastic pop pitch. Oh, a king of schmaltz. The New York Times has proudly crowned you. But if you ever get to doubting how spectacular you are, just observe your friends and family gathered round you. Oh, there's Bill Gates. Hi, Bill. I'm Kristen Chenoweth. I'm available for all your private parties, and I'm much cheaper. I'm much cheaper than David, and I mean that in an appropriate way. <laughs> Sorry, David. This is your time, your roast. You've been wowing the crowd for what? Seventy-five years. It's been some time since your first band has been skylarking wildflower. I mean, come on. So I've gathered up some factoids about our birthday boy today. In this show we know is worth all your complicated parking. It's a sold out show, good luck getting out, y'all. <laughs> Please, everyone raise your glass. Whether it's real or theoretical, it's time to toast this maestro. How much more talented can you get? Oh, hit it, Bill. 
Are you ready? This is for you. A singular artist whose work we admire, who keeps it all real and takes us through fire, whose songs are pure heaven, or in some keys much higher. Is there anyone on earth like David Foster? The catchiest melodist under the sun. He's won 16 Grammys and lost 31. And in the control booth, he's second to none. Who took every genre and 